Hi guys, today we're going to have a super quick video on how to change the spring on your Raptor 3 air gun. Um, and this spring on Raptor 3 over here is responsible for the power of your air gun. But of course today we're not going to modify the power of the air gun, that's uh, illegal in Sweden. Uh, we're going to just uh, look at the procedure, how to do that, and uh, yeah, then everyone decides for himself. For this process we actually need just two tools. I have plenty of tools here, but this is just to show you the versatility of what can be used to do this very simple process. Uh, first of all, you're gonna have a two millimeter Allen key. I have a uh, yeah, Black & Decker set over here with Allen keys. Uh, and then you'll need these pins that come from the factory by default with you. But uh, yeah, as I'm thinking that this air gun is actually very good for surviving, you should be able to do any of the reparations with most of the common tools you have at home. That's why I'm not going to use the pins today. I'm going to use one of the pliers. And yeah, I just want to show you that anything could work, guys. Here I have Knipex uh, round nose pliers. I have Baco pliers here. And I have also Knipex, the, the, the spring uh, ring removers, the spring ring removal tool. Um, and all of this would work for you. So let's get into that. First thing you have to do is to find a two millimeter Allen key. Any, uh, any Allen key set would uh, work for you um, because yeah, this is very basic, very universal tool that uh, you could have. Then there's a, there's a little pin screw over here that you have to undo with your Allen key. So basically you just put it in And undo it. One full turn would be good enough. So this is done. Now you can actually undo the knob here at the back. I'm just gonna use these uh, needle nose pliers here and oh, let me see. You just insert them in and then turn this thing all the way out. By the way, this is the first time I'm doing this. And you don't have to take the pressure out of the rifle for this operation. You just do it like it is. This is how it, uh, how it looks. There's a little uh, washer over here that you don't want to lose because otherwise the spring will rub um, over the brass part and that's yeah, not very good. So that's how it looks inside. There's something inside there. So I'm just gonna take the I'm just gonna take the spring out, just like so. This is the tiny little spring, and I'm gonna replace it with this one. And then there's also the aluminum uh, kind of uh, ring. And I think I'll try to take that one out as well because I don't need it anymore here. Okay, it just uh, falls out if I do like so. Actually, to take the washer out, you might need something like a tweezers or something. Okay, and then it just goes out like so. It's just another aluminum kind of washer. That's how it looks inside now. Then you take out your new spring. See? Put it in. Just like so. So it sits on its position. And now you close the hole with the uh, with this brass thing. You can see how simple is that. Now it has to be a bit more tightened up. real-time fixing just like so guys the last thing you have to do is just basically tighten this little uh, screw the, the stopper so the way how to do it is like you, you you feel when it doesn't go any further then you make a quarter turn just a little bit 
not to damage the brass part there. And that's it, guys. That's, uh, that's all it takes. Very simple, very fast, very easy. The reverse process is very simple as well. You undo this little stopper. You undo the... the brass part. Super easy to do. There we go. You take the little washer out. You take the spring out. You load in your old spring back. And actually, this part you can keep it or you can put it back. I will not put it back. I'll just do it like so. Bit not super handy to do it uh, with one hand also with the camera. But this is still very, very easy, guys, as you can see. Here we go. So now it's back to the original setting, um, and I'll keep it that way. But now you know how to replace the spring in the Raptor 3, and there could be multiple reasons to do that. As I said, it could be that you would like to tune it up. It would be maybe to replace the spring for some other reasons, which I don't know. But yeah, the process is super simple. You could do it within like two minutes with the basic tools that you have at home. So I hope this helps you out, guys. And uh, I'm using <laughs> a bit different microphone today. So I hope that the sound quality was fine. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.